Rocking with PettyBlog.com. It's your boy, Snoop D-O-Double-G, and you are now watching the Petty Blog. I can't be on the Petty Blog. <laughs> oh my God, it just hit me. <laughs> petty and T. I, 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 I was so dumb. <laughs> so they already know that I'm dropping a T. So let's get right into it. So basically, um, R. Kelly's daughter, Buku Abi, and his ex-wife, Andrea Kelly, opened up saying that R. Kelly did the unthinkable to his daughter, okay? While they never specified, at least in the trailer, as to what exactly he did, you kind of could allude to what they're talking about. Well, now, fast forward, now that it's getting closer to the documentary or film dropping, she opened up a little more. She said, been having a hard time coming up with words. If I'm being honest, part of me wants to hide under a rock and part of me wants to act like nothing is going on. In true water sign fashion. But God has brought me too far to shy away now. So one, I will start by saying growing up and throughout my early adulthood, I swore to never speak on my father or really anything pertaining to my personal life and what I've experienced for many reasons, but ultimately fair and I didn't want to remember anything. Let me first clearly say this, I do not hate my father, nor do I blindly follow my mother. I'm not angry, I'm not looking for revenge, I'm not looking for clout, I am and been more than that. I could care less about anybody's opinions, good or bad, and I say that with the utmost respect. That one millisecond completely changed my whole life. I did it for me, I did it for my son, I did it for my peace of mind, for the ones that love and know me but never understood me growing up. I did it to honor truth, I did it to look my biggest demon in the eyes and tell him I'm done. I love my mother, I love my father, I honor my mother, I honor my father, but I will never sacrifice truth over honor. True honor should never require that anyway. My brother, sister, my son, and I deserved better than what we experienced and continue to experience. This is about them for me, and I will not stop scratching and clawing fearlessly until the scale has been balanced. We are returned to us what was always supposed to be ours. I will continue to bear my truth for them. God is with me and he will see me through. I'm only talking to the ones that can hear me. If you can't feel me, I'm not talking to you. It's all love. This is just a beautiful beginning. Let it burn. Fuku Abi. And she also wrote, love ya again. I only speak to those that hear me. And then wrote, I'm okay, just need a second. Followed by, I inspire all of those that are taking their time to tear me and my family down to take the time to pray. Whatever you're hurting from, I see right through your initial comments. I love you too and I pray all the works that God has and will continue to do in my life to help heal you too. This life is a difficult one to navigate but I strongly suggest you ask God to change your heart so you can truly hear when his people are speaking to you. I love you. Then she put this picture up and wrote, just because I'm taking the day to myself, don't get it confused. I'ma cry and come back swinging every time. It's always love. And what she was referring to is that she was getting comments that say things like, if your mother knew you were abused since 2009, why is she still dancing to your dad's music online? And why is she still carrying his last name? If a man harmed my child, I would have got him arrested and I would have changed my last name and I would not be dancing to his music on IG. And under that, someone said, well, that's you. That's not every mother. I was actually assaulted by my mother's brother and she beat my ASS and still to this day is close to her brother. Never got the cops involved or nothing. Oh, wow. And this person wrote, people don't believe you because your mama is still carrying his last name and dancing to his music online. Arrest Drea Kelly. We need to get your mama locked up. If your claims are true, she did not protect you and needs to be charged. Wow. Um, people telling her to press charges, you know, the same old, same old, asking about why Dre didn't help her or protect her, things like that. But I mean, I don't know what to say. I feel like some people would just be so shocked that someone they trust is doing this that they don't even say nothing because they don't know how to go about it, what to say, and it's not an excuse. I'm just saying, like, speaking from their perspective, playing devil's advocate real quick, and I'm not saying that it's right. I'm just telling you guys how it really be because clearly and unfortunately, a lot of people are getting essayed by their own family members but they just are too afraid to speak up about it so you can never deny them because sometimes they do report it right away don't get believed so they take it to the grave or just never speak up about it or speak up about it many many years later mm. but yeah what do y'all think about this we really want to know so leave your thoughts below 
like and share this video subscribe and if you haven't done so yet be sure to hit that bell to join the notification gang petsyblog.com signing out